Hey folks, Alan Manick, the Hot Rod Hippie here, coming to you from Troy, New York this week, where we're at 1945 Speed and Customs for the Collar City Cars and Caffeine Car Show. We're gonna check it out here. It's Memorial Day weekend. It is a beautiful weekend, the first rain-free weekend they've had for this show this year. Let's check it out. All right, so Jeremy Bay, 1945 Speed and Customs, is it. here for the Collar City Cars and Caffeine. Want to tell yes. us a little bit about the show? Today was the first one of the year that we, we do it the last Sunday of every month. Um, and this is the first one that didn't rain. And you know, we typically get you know two or 300 cars and if it's raining, like I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh gosh, I don't even want to go, it's raining. And then <laughs> we show up and there's 300 cars here in the rain. But today it was beautiful, um, over 500 cars. Um, I open it up to everything. I'm into everything. I like Honda Civics. I like every, I like drift cars. I like muscle cars. I like traditional hot rods. I like everything. So, uh, and that's what we get here. And that's why I think, uh, you know, the event's so fun. Yeah, there's everything here. I saw things from BMWs to Ferraris on up to Hondas, Subarus. I mean, street rods, there's such a mix. It's such a cool little show you got going here. It's great. You know what, when I got into cars, I had a Honda Civic. And I remember taking my Civic to, to you know, the car meets or whatever. And, you know, the muscle car guys were like, ah, get out of here with your Honda. And, uh, you know, I was always like, my Honda's fast. Like I had, you know, nitrous and stuff like that. And it was like, it ran 12s, but this is like in the late 90s. And I remember being like bummed that like those guys didn't like my car. I couldn't go to their, you know, I couldn't, they didn't want me at the street. <laughs> and, uh, you know, and then I got into old cars and, you know, so on and so forth. And now I'm doing what I'm doing. But, you know, I want to keep it open to everybody. I like the fact that everybody comes out and everybody can enjoy a good time. And if you're into cars, it doesn't matter what kind of car it is. I feel like that's a common thing that we all kind of have. And, you know, a muscle car guy can look at some dude's turbo setup on his you know, Subaru and go, oh, all right, and maybe learn something and vice versa, you know? Oh, antique cars were unobtainable to me. And, you know, I taught myself how to weld and all of a sudden it was like, oh, I'm gonna build a chassis for, for a, I'm gonna build a, an old car. And I didn't even know what an old, I, just, I didn't know what was what. I just knew 30s cars had a certain look or, you know, a, a shape to them. And that's what I wanted. And I didn't know even know what I wanted, but I always thought I couldn't afford that. So I taught myself how to do it and, you know, fast forward, 20 years and now I have a shop building cars for people. Um, but you know, I just, you know, that's what I like about the event is just the, the ability to, you know, get all these people together and hopefully maybe can learn from one another. It's really great to see just a nice mix and really just embracing car culture on its, its own just that's for it. what it is. That's it, yeah. I mean, that's totally it. If, if you like, you know, something that you can drive, doesn't even matter what it is. It's, it's you know, you get that same feeling. And it's cool that a dude in a $300 Honda can come here and feel just as great as a dude in a Lamborghini.
Thank you to 1945 Speed and Customs and the town of Troy for having the show, for having us here today. It's been a really interesting show seeing such a great mix from the BMWs to the exotic cars to the street rods. There's something here for everybody. This is definitely a cars and coffee, cars and caffeine you might want to check out. I'll throw links in the description down below to the Instagram, the Facebook events, so you can check this stuff out for yourself if you want to in Troy, New York. Thanks for coming around, folks. Go ahead and drop this video a like if you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of this? Any cars in here you really liked? Something you don't see every day? Let me know in the comments down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep up to date with everything every week. Thanks for coming around, folks.